after promising to roll out 150 new models over the next five years, Harley-Davidson HD, has begun its onslaught into the cruiser motorcycle market with eight new models in its soft tail range, including a brand new Fat Boy. Touted to be faster, lighter and better handling than the previous models, Harley's new soft tails come with its new Milwaukee 8 107 and 114 V-twins. As the centerpiece of the bike, HD's 8-valve Milwaukee 8 107 V-twin, displacing 1,745 cc with oil-cooled cylinder heads, takes pride of place as standard equipment in all eight new soft tails, Fat Boy, Heritage Classic, Low Rider, Soft Tail Slim, Deluxe, and Breakout. Meanwhile, the Milwaukee 8 114 mil, at 1,868 cc and liquid-cooled cylinder heads, is available as an option on four models, the Fat Bob 114, Fat Boy 114, Breakout 114 and Heritage Classic 114. Claiming to merge the riding performance of its Dyna range of big cruisers, along with the custom look of its soft tail line, HD's new additions commemorate its 115th anniversary. The frame used in the new soft tails is lighter and stiffer, and is coupled with high-performance Showa SDBV dual-bending valve front fork and an adjustable rear monoshock. This translates into increased lean angles for some soft tail versions, sharper turn in response, quicker acceleration, nimble flickability, lighter weight and easier side stand liftoff. The frame is 65% stiffer than the outgoing soft tail design, which HS says leads to a 34% increase in overall chassis stiffness. There are two unique swing arms, one for narrow and one for wide rear tires. The wide chassis is 5.89 kg, 0R 15%, lighter, while the narrow chassis shaves 8.16 kg, a 20% weight savings. HD claims the new soft tails are up to 17% lighter than their predecessors. Updates common to all soft tails is Daymaker's signature LED headlights, along with an improved electrical charging system, allowing for more accessories to be fitted without fear of battery drain. Also standard on all soft tails is keyless ignition and security system, as well as a USB port mounted on the steering head and new design fuel tanks. Faced with an aging rider demographic, Notably in its home market of the U.S., HD is pursuing an aggressive campaign of expansion to draw in a younger rider, producing the street series of lower displacement bikes, such as the 2017 Street Rod 750, as well as opening plants nearer to Asian markets. For more updates subscribe MotoGuru.